Okay, last year when I did this project, I never actually finished all of my layers, editing all of my layers, and this can take some time, so I thought I'd make one more video to show you how I speed through the process. Now, I've got this um, baboon walking cycle uh, all on layers here, and the positioning's pretty good, and I've done, I've edited two layers. This bottom layer, I have a layer mask, which masks out the background and allows the baboon to show and we've got transparency behind it. If I turn on the background color you can see that we've got, if I put a, a blank burgundy background behind it you can see that it's too transparent. Now the next layer I did something different I just erased and you can see I got a pretty good result on layer two also or in this case it says layer four here and this was without a quick mask this is just erasing so I'm going to show you how I did that and work really quickly using um, layer five so I turn on the eyeball on the next layer I select the layer and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the contrast on the layer so I'm going to do a control L on my keyboard to bring up the levels dialog box and I'm going to darken the um, the image. So I just darken the image. Now what I want to do is I want to get this tool over here, the quick selection tool. I've got it set for, um, you can pick, use the um, brackets on your keyboard to adjust the size. And now all I have to do is basically click and drag and it creates a selection of the background. And what I want to do is I want to select the background so I can delete it. So as you can see, I'm just cruising around here, trying to grab the background. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've got that. I've got that. All right, and I'm just going to make a quick pass, right? Now, if I want to get in this smaller area, what I'll do is I'll change the diameter of my tool by using the brackets on the keyboard. Now it's smaller, and now I can just click, 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 and click in here and you can see that I've grabbed too much in a few little places. Now to get rid of that, if I want to, I'll show you how I'm going to get rid of it, I want to remove this part of the selection. So what I'll do is I'll get my lasso tool, I'll hold down the alt key so I can see the little minus symbol, and I'll just create a little loop, a little lasso that is, around the area that I want to remove from the selection. All right, and here, I want to add that to the selection, so I'll switch from a um, Alt key, I'll hold down the Shift key, and keep that Shift key held down, and I'll make a little loop around this area, and that will add to the selection. So I can subtract or minus from the selection. Now, if I want to get rid of this spot right in here, I need to remove this from the selection, so I'd hold down the Alt key, and then just draw a little circle in this gap right here. And I'm not sure, let's see here, draw a little circle. And that's not quite working. Okay, uh, let's say I, I, instead of minus the selection, actually, I'm confused, I want to add to the selection. So I'll hold down the shift key, let's try that. All right, I was confused. No problem, there we go. So now I'll zoom back out, control minus on your keyboard, and you can see that I have the area selected that I want to delete. Now before I press delete on my keyboard, what I'm going to do is click on refine edge. I've chosen the viewing mode of uh, overlay. I like the overlay viewing mode, so I chose that. And I'm going to add a slight feather to the selection. So I'll take this up to let's say one pixel, okay, and then I'll click make sure output to selection, click OK, and you won't see any difference, but now when I press delete, I've got a slightly feathered edge on my, on where I've deleted, where the selection, the boundary between what is selected and not selected, there's a feathered edge. Now I need to deselect, select, deselect, grab my eraser tool, get an appropriate sized eraser and erase this black line here, also, I'm going to go all the way around the edge to make sure there's no any pixels hiding along the edge here. See this little dark area right there? I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so now I have one, two, 
and three baboons on my walking cycle um, finished. And I'll do the next one and I'll work through all these layers and then I'll show you a very cool trick to add a different background into your animation. Okay, here's my next selection and that's as good as I could get it. Now I have to do my my edits. So once again I will get my lasso tool and I need to remove this part from the selection so I can get the rest of his arm in there. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and make a lasso about where I approximately think. Here we go, that's perfect. And then a little bit off of his hind rear here, I'm going to make a little lasso over that baboon butt. And that adds that. And then another little piece here. All right, now that looks pretty good. It does not have to be perfect because this is going to be an animation, so perfection is not going to be as necessary. So I'm pretty good here. Once again, I'll click Refine Edge. I'll change my feather selection to one pixel. Click OK, then press Delete. Deselect Control D on my keyboard, and then get my eraser tool and erase the top black edge and the bottom black edge and maybe any side areas that might also uh, be remaining. So now there's my next layer. Time for the next one. Just cover this process one more time. Control L. Darken the image. Makes it easier for the selection when you have the darkened image. Okay, get my quick selection tool drag across the light gray areas that I want to select because I'm going to delete them, right? And grab here. Okay. So I'm holding the mouse down, by the way. Um, when, I, when I click and drag, I'm clicking and dragging. That's the trick, clicking and dragging. All right, I'm click here and click here. So it's a click drag motion. Um, okay, that looks good. Now I need to remove a little bit here, and I need to remove a little bit here on the rear area. So I'll get the lasso tool, hold down the Alt key so that it's the minus selection lasso, and make a loop here. That looks good. And then I want to remove a little bit here, so I hold down that Alt key again, and right off the front of his paw, remove a little bit of that. Oh, that's not good. I actually want to add some there. So let's do that. Let's hold down the shift key instead and then try to draw right along the paw, creating a loop, and that adds to it. Also right here, I'll add a little bit right here, making a loop. All right, and now that looks pretty good. I'm also going to remove a little bit here hold down the Alt key and remove a little bit of that selection. Okay, so now the background is selected. I can press Delete and that's all gone. Now Control D on your keyboard to deselect. Eraser tool and erase the black at the top and bottom. And now I have my third walking cycle baboon completed just have eight more to go. But you could probably get the whole, once you get pretty good with your process, um, you'll get it done within 20 minutes or 25 minutes. And by doing it over and over again, it really cements in the learning.